In this video I'm going to look at some probabilities involving complementary events. Complementary events can't both happen, but either one or the other must happen. That is, if A and B are complementary, the probability of A and B is zero, and the probability of A plus the probability of B is one. The complement of event A can be described as not A. Thus, the probability of A plus the probability of not A equals one. Either A happens or not A happens. So together they make a hundred percent probability. And we can rewrite this as the probability of not A is one minus the probability of A. Some important examples we'll see are events that use the words at least one and none. For example, the event at least one heart is a complement to the event no hearts. We can use the formula above here as the probability of at least one heart is one minus the probability of no hearts. The examples that follow also use a formula for calculating probabilities when events are independent. When the outcome of one event doesn't affect the other, we say they are independent. The formula we'll be using for that is the probability of A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B. Okay, let's look at some examples. I actually have four examples. The first is, suppose that 15% of the population owns dogs. Question A, if you pick two people completely at random, what's the probability that they both own a dog? B, what is the probability that neither own a dog? And C, what is the probability that at least one owns a dog? So here I've worked out the solution for part A. I'm looking at the probability that both people own a dog and assuming independence. So the probability the first one owns a dog is 0.15 probably the second one owns a dog, also 0.15. I'm going to assume that it isn't going to change. 0.15 times 0.15, that's 0.0225, and that's 2.25 percent. For question B, what's the probability that neither own a dog? Well, first I have to figure out the chance that one person doesn't own a dog. That's one minus the probability they do own a dog. That's one minus 0 0.15. 0 0.15 is the chance randomly somebody owns a dog. One minus 0 0.15, that's 0 0.85. So the probability that neither owns a dog is the same as the probability the first doesn't own a dog and the second one doesn't own a dog. That's 0 0.85 times 0 0.85. That's 0 0.7225 or about 72.25 percent. So for question C, What's the probability at least one owns a dog? Now I can use that idea, that principle, that at least one is a complement of neither. So for the probability that at least one person owns a dog, I'll just do one minus the probability neither has a dog. And I'll just use the answer that I had from part B. One minus the 0.7225 probability that neither has a dog is 0.2775 and I'll round that off to about 28 percent. Let's look at example two. Two cards are drawn from a standard deck. What's the probability neither card is a heart? What's the probability at least one of the cards is a heart? So the probability that neither card is a heart is the probability the first one's not a heart and the second one's not a heart. Now the chance that the first card is not a heart is 39 out of 52 because there are 39 cards that are not a heart and the chance that the next one's not a heart given that the first one was not would be 38 out of 51. That reduces to 19 over 34. Now what's the probability at least one of the cards is a heart? I'll use that same principle that at least one is a complement of no or no, no hearts and the answer that I just got in part A is the probability of no hearts when you draw two cards. So one minus the probability of no heart is one minus 19 over 34. What I have to do here is get a common denominator, 34 over 34 minus 19 over 34, that's 15 over 34, or about 44 percent. Notice these two are complements that they, they add up to 100 percent probability. Let's look at question three. Suppose that ESPN reports that Dwayne Wade has a career free throw percentage of 0.771. Technically that means he successfully completes free throws 77.1% of the time. If Wade gets two free throw shots, what's the probability he will make both? Write this as a percentage, round to one place after the decimal in the answer. 
And question B, if he gets two free throw shots, what's the probability he'll make at least one, complete at, one, at least one successfully? Write as a percentage and round to one place after the decimal. So my answer in A is, if he gets two free throw shots, what's the probability he will make both? I'm thinking the chance he makes the first one is 0.771, and the chance that he makes the second one is still 0.771. I'm going to assume independence here that the probability of his making that second shot isn't going to change whether or not he made the first shot. And I multiply those two probabilities together, I get 0.594 or about 59.4% 59 chance that he will make both shots. Now if he gets two free throw shots, what's the probability he'll make at least one? Write that as a percentage, round to one decimal. Uh, place. Well, what I have to do now is figure out what's the chance that he'll miss on one shot. The chance that he'll make it on one shot, that's the 0 0.771. And so the complement of making it would be missing it on one shot. So the chance of missing it on one shot is 1 minus 0 0.771, or about 0 0.229. And then I'll figure out the chance that he will miss on both, and he'll make none of the two. Miss on both is the probability he misses the first shot and misses the second shot. That's about 0.052 when you multiply those together. And so finally I can figure out the chance that he'll make at least one shot. That's 1 minus the probability that he makes none of the shots. 1 minus 0.052, that's about 0.948 or about 94.8% about a 95% chance that he could make it on at least one of those shots. Suppose Firestone estimates a certain tire has a probability of failure of 0 .002. Write the probability of failure of a single tire of this type as a percentage. Out of a thousand tires, out of every thousand tires sold, on average, how many would you expect would fail? And if 500 of these tires are sold, what is the probability none of them will fail? And write that as a percentage. And if 500 were sold, what's the probability at least one of them would fail? And write that as a percentage. Okay, for, so now for part A, we say um, to write the probability of failure as a, of a single tire of this type as a percentage, I take the point 002, convert that to a percentage, that's 0.2% probability of failure of a single tire. Question B, out of every 1,000 of these tires sold, on average, how many would we expect would fail? And that probability of failure of 0 0.002 is the same as saying 2 out of 1,000, and that's what that probability represents, that it means two would fail on average in every 1,000. So the answer is two for part B. For part C, if 500 of these tires are sold, what's the probability none of them will fail? Write that as a percentage. So first I want to think, what's the probability that one tire doesn't fail? That's the complement of a tire failing. So that's one minus 0 0.002. This 0.998 is the probability of one tire not failing. But this question says, what's the probability none of these tires, 500 of them, don't fail? So I'm assuming independence and multiplying the probability the first one doesn't fail, and the next one doesn't fail, and all 500 of them all together being independent of each other, um, one of them failing not affecting the probabilities of any of the other ones failing, I just multiply 0.998 times itself 500 times, which of course is easier with the exponent, so 0.998 to the 500 power is about 0.368, and that means about 36.8% chance that none of them will fail. And so the last question, if 500 of these tires are sold, what is the probability at least one of them will fail? Well, I'm going to start with the fact that at least one failing is the complement of none of them failing. So, and of course we just figured out the chance that none of those 500 fail in the previous part. So that's 1 minus 0.368 and that's about 0.632 or a 63.2% chance that there would be at least one tire that fails in the 500 uh, tires uh, given the probabilities um, of failure as, as stated. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope it was helpful.